This Sunday is family day here at Oradon Prep. Ready to discover a whole load of secret siblings? It's time to dig deep into the descendants drawer of mystery family members. Hey Disney, you can't hide these VKs and AKs any longer. Who's ready for some wicked new characters to be introduced in our Dream Descendants 4 lineup? Hi, Dad. Discover which secret sisters and brothers didn't make it into the movies, but do exist in the Wicked World animated series, the School of Secrets online shorts, and Melissa de la Cruz's novels. When it comes to villain kids and Oradon kids, we can never get enough. You sound just like your mom. Thank you. Mao's family history has been an important part of the Descendants franchise so far, so it makes sense that Descendants 4 would introduce more of Mao's relations. After all, we got the big revelation in D3 that Hades is Mao's dad. We also got a glimpse of his difficult relationship with Mao's mom, Maleficent. You abandoned me when I was a baby. No, I left your mother. So now the secret's out about Hades, that leaves the door wide open for his son to join the lineup. Mao's half-brother is called Haiti, and he appears in Melissa de la Cruz's novel, Return to the Isle of the Lost. It would be amazing to watch Mal and Haiti explore this sibling link. In the novel, Haldi is a big fan of Mal. He's one of the VKs on the Isle who's inspired by Mal's transformation in Oradon. These VKs decide to change their villainous ways and form the Anti-Heroes Club. We could also meet more of Mal's family in D4. In the same novel, we meet Star on the tourney field, Herky, who is Hercules and Megara's son. As Hades is Hercules' uncle, that makes Mal and Herky's first cousins once removed. Welcome! We only get to see one of Captain Hook's kids in the movies, but Harry Hook actually has two sisters. Harriet is his big sis, and CJ is the youngest. Harriet appears briefly in the novels. We learn that she's captain of her own pirate crew, and that she wanted to leave the Isle. When the transfer applications to Oradon Prep arrived, she grabbed forms for herself and the Smee twins, as she was babysitting them that night. As for CJ, which stands for Callista Jane, she's the main antagonist in the Wicked World animated short. CJ. Hey, Malzy. Miss me? Decidedly a VK, she causes trouble for Mal and the rest of the gang, like when she ties up Ben and plots against Oridon. We're villain kids, it's what we do. How fun would it be to see Harry, Harriet, and CJ all together in D4? They could argue over who should be captain of the pirate crew. That is, if Uma's willing to give up the role now that she's good. I'd rather talk about you. Mm. Funny and a gentleman. Uma's family is very much kept under wraps in the Descendants movies. We don't even get to see her mom, just her tentacles slithering towards Uma, and her voice yelling at her daughter to do the dishes. These dishes ain't gonna wash themselves! So we would love to see not only Whoopi Goldberg make a proper appearance as Ursula in D4, but also more of Uma's fam. Who could they be? Well, in the first novel, Isle of the Lost, we get a brief peek at the Sea Witches. They're mentioned leaning over their violins as part of the junior orchestra at Dragon Hall. We aren't given any more info about them, which means they might well be Uma's secret sisters. Fans are more convinced that they'd be Uma's cousins, though. Either way, we'd love it if China Ann McLean's real-life sisters, Sierra and Lauren, played the Sea Witches, but Lauren might be earmarked for another character. Okay, Freddy, retract your claws. But I just had them sharpened. Lauren McLean voiced Freddy Facilier in the second season of Wicked World, and Freddy is Celia Facilier's older sister. Lauren also starred as Freddy in live-action Neon Lights Ball Special. So it'd be amazing if D4 brought Freddy into the films. After all, they've already got the perfect actor lined up for the role. Fun fact, China Ann McLean voiced Freddy in the first season of Wicked World, but she went on to play Uma in D2, so that's why her sister replaced her. Some fans think that this real-life sibling link drops a massive hint that the characters are also sisters, which would mean that Dr. Facilier is Uma's dad. What do you think of that theory? Either way, it would be great to see Freddy and Celia together in the fourth movie. Sister dynamics can get pretty fraught, and that could create some very watchable tension between the Faciliers. Please, my mom taught me how to apply blush before I could talk. The School of Secrets series also includes a possible relative for Evie. That's the web series of shorts where a secret camera records Oridon prep students in the cafeteria. As the daughter of the Evil Queen, Evie already has a stepsister, Snow White. But there's no reference made to this sibling relationship in the films. And we hardly see Snow White in the movies either. She gets a short cameo, reporting on Ben's coronation in the first film. We see the villains watching the event on their TV, and the Evil Queen throwing popcorn at her great nemesis on the screen. While we don't have any proof that Snow White has a child in the Descendants universe, we do have a theory, based on her career. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, so it makes sense that Snow White's daughter could be a reporter too. And we see a student journalist in the School of Secrets in the episode when the secret camera is spying on a meeting about the school student webzine.
Hey, you guys hear about that girl who's been posting secret camera videos? The editor could well be Snow White's daughter, and that would make her Evie's step-niece. Wouldn't it be great if D4 explored Evie's family more? We'd love to discover who her father is and what other siblings she might have. The actor who plays Evie, Sophia Carson, also wants to know. After the first film was released, Sophia told Just Jared she started to wonder if her character had any siblings. Hey guys, I'm Lonnie. My mom's Mulan. We've got an AK with a secret sibling now, and that's Lonnie. She's not Mulan's only child in the Descendants universe. Lonnie has a big brother called Lee Shang Jr., also known as Lil Shang. He appears in the novel Rise of the Isle of the Lost as a recent graduate of Oridon Prep. He was working as an assistant roar coach at the school during his gap year. That's a sport that's a mix of parkour and fencing with swords, which Jay, Lonnie, and Chad played in D2. Lil Shang's plan after that was to go home to rule Northern Wei and launch his hip-hop career. How fun would that be to watch play out in the fourth film? There's another reason we'd love to see Lil Shang join the lineup in D4. And that's his history with Jay. He helped Jay with roar training before tryouts, encouraging Jay to practice with his Lil sis, Lonnie. So Lil Shang could be a helpful ally for everyone that ships Jay and Lonnie. And guess what? Lil Shang isn't the only secret sibling that's named after his father. Gil isn't Gaston's only child. He has two brothers. Gil is the only one who isn't named after his father. His twin bros are called Gaston Jr. and Gaston III, and they appear in the first two novels. We might have even gotten a glimpse of them in the first movie. Some eagle-eyed fans reckon we can see the twins during the Rotten to the Core dance number, the VK with the furry hat and the VK with the furry coat. That coat could be a reference to Gaston's great enemy, the Beast. In the first novel, the twins show their kind side, helping Evie on her first day at school. But by the second novel, they are committed villains and don't want to change their ways. The twins refuse to join the anti-heroes club and are in cahoots with the biggest VKs left on the aisle, Mad Maddie, Ginny Gothel, and Anthony Tremaine. We'd love to see these two turn up in D4 and try to get into Evie's good books once more. She could help them become good. I'm hungry. Of course, we already have a set of twins in the Descendants movies, and that's Squeaky and Squirmy Smee. Did you know they have a secret sibling too? In D3, we got to see their dad, Mr. Smee, Captain Hook's first mate in Peter Pan. There was no sign of Sammy, Mr. Smee's other son. He's the twins' big brother, and is mentioned briefly in the Isle of the Lost novel, as a guest at Mal's Hellraiser party. We gotta keep this quiet. You sure you're ready? But there's an even more interesting mention of the Smee family in the School of Secrets web series. In the fifth episode, an Oridon prep student reveals that his great uncle Smee had a boat tethered off the coast in Oridon. My great uncle Smee used to keep his boat tethered off the coast. That would make Sammy, plus Squeaky and Squirmy, the student's first cousin once removed. How interesting would it be to discover why a prince in Oridon is related to a villain that lived on the Isle of the Lost? We'd definitely love Sammy and Mr. Smee to explain all in D4. And the four of us are living the dream here and we finally get to show Share that. Which secret sibling do you most want to see in Descendants 4? Let us know in the comments and hit that like button to let Disney know you want a fourth installment of the Wicked franchise. Thanks for watching!